Hey guys, you're watching Let's Talk About Prepping. I'm Tyler, your host, and in this video, I'm going to talk some crap about some bigger prepping channels. Now, a lot of channels in the past couple years, and probably beyond, got their start because they wanted to voice their opinion on the state of the discussion within the prepping community. In short, there's a lot of unhappy smaller preppers that want to talk crap about bigger preppers. And I sort of thought that I was one of them, but I'm a little more civil than that. And even though I named my channel Let's Talk About Prepping because I sort of wanted to talk about preppers and prepping and call out some of the inconsistencies, I do like to be a little more subtle than simply calling people out. But I spend a bit of time in comment sections and live stream chats and just watching channels that are watched by many to keep my finger in the water and to see what the current state of the discussion is. And just like most people, I have plenty of disagreements with what I see and often with the channels that are saying it to the most people. And I think it's important to address those things because even though most experienced preppers have a very established opinion and there's not a lot that a guy that me can do to change what they think about things besides presenting really good facts, letting them choose for themselves, there's a lot of new preppers out there who take what channels say as gospel. And this is something that I try to be really conscientious of because despite the fact that I am a small channel, I know that there are people who will take things that I say as fact without examining them simply because I'm saying it from a platform regardless of how easy it is to get up on this platform. So, it bugs me a lot, a lot, when people who have been boosted up further on this platform by others abuse their position in my eyes. And part of the reason that I'm hesitant to call out other channels is because I'm pretty libertarian with my thoughts on how somebody else should be able to run their channel. I don't really want a lot of oversight in how I run my channel. But at the same time, I perform my own oversight on how I run my channel. And I try not to judge other others by the standards that I judge myself by, but there are some things that I see other channels do that really make me shake my head and sometimes upset me because these are people who know that they have a large platform, who know or should know the people that ha they have listening to them, and who I feel should have some sense of responsibility to the people who have put them there by watching them and who listen to them and follow the words that they say. When someone has 50, 80, 100,000 followers, that is a lot of impetus for new people to listen to what they say. And that gives you a lot of responsibility to say the right things. I think that you are somewhat morally culpable if you tell a lot of people to do a thing or to prepare for a thing or not to prepare for a thing and then they die because your information was bad. It's not all the way fair to simply say it's up to all of you to do your own research if what you're spewing is garbage. And there are channels who play fast and loose with their facts and how they communicate. 
and there are channels who moving on from facts are very touchy um it's not really important how touchy-feely or oversensitive a prepping channel is to whether or not they can provide you with survival information but i tend to examine a prepping channel the host of a prepping channel sometimes by whether or not I would want to be in a group with that person or know that person or even spend much time with them. And let me tell you, there are a lot of the larger prepping channels who, if I did a tour of the United States and stopped in and did a video with each prepping channel that I wanted to, I don't think that I'd want to spend the time collaborating with a lot of them to do that. And it's no offense, I mean, I probably would to be professional, but a lot of the larger channels that some people would really like to get on stage with seem insufferable to me. And that's either because of cockiness or just nuances, uh, oversensitivity toward ego, meaning receiving comments as criticism or taking them personally like the video itself is their child and they need to defend it i can't tell you how many times i have added a comment to a video of a large channel that was only somewhat in disagreement or offered some rare exceptions to a rule that they had set or things like that and been not attacked but treated defensively by the person as if i was somehow calling them out by simply saying that sometimes this can change circumstances or something like that a lot of the big prepping channels cannot field a question that disagrees with them civilly without needing to explain why you're wrong and in some cases deride you. Um, it's not a big deal if a prepping channel is professional or nice, but they do lose a lot of marks in my book if they are going to debate in their comment section or anywhere like they're on Facebook. And I hope that most of you will understand what that means, but to put it short, here in the prepping community on YouTube and in the survivalism community, there is a certain barrier of expectation for information and for what you say and we tend to hold each other up to a pretty high standard for facts and being right about stuff and so you pretty much have to be prepared for people to point out when you're wrong or point out exceptions to things that you say and so it always just sort of takes me aback when a larger channel can't keep their cool in the comment section and just speak civilly. And I realize that when you've got a big channel, it's very difficult to keep a proper and coherent conversation with that many people at once. But there is a line where you need to be able to communicate properly or you're going to really start revealing that all you're really good at is talking in front of a camera. Um, a lot of channels are really good at regurgitating information. And that's something that all of us do. It's pretty much impossible to talk about something and be completely original. But... If you really start watching your big prepping channels and examining them for 
their logic for when they start saying, I think a lot, I think that this would be the case. I wouldn't expect this to be the case. When they're speculating a lot about things and merging into the realm of pontificating from their position versus somebody who is speaking from experience about things that they can talk about or at least acknowledging when they're speculating. There are a lot of bigger channels who are guilty of accepting their position as an authority in the prepping community and they start to talk with authority about the things that they talk about. There are very few things in the prepping and collapse realm that a person can speak about with authority. And this is why survivalism and bushcraft channels tend to be able to carry more weight and subscribers when they know what they're talking about and they can really demonstrate it and put hands on. But a lot of big prepping channels start to really fade into the realm of armchair future historian and declaring facts rather than researching and sharing research. One of my favorites is one of the big channels reviewed a shotgun that was as tall as he is and declared it good for home defense. I even asked him to make a video of him clearing corners with it and he sort of made a joke about how he's not that tore up, not trying to be that tactical, I think. But he didn't question the fact that I was questioning that he had said it was good for clearing a house. Um, same channel says that there's almost a 0% chance of an EMP, CME, nuclear strike in America, or space junk ever affecting our digital systems. And refuses to cite any information for that, or give anything besides, oh trust me. Uh, other channels are so boasty, that they boast the bro status and joke around so much that it's hard to really tell when they're being serious and when they're being sarcastic and actually get factual information from them. Uh, so there's just a whole lot of stuff that bigger channels do that makes it very hard to know when to trust them and when to watch them for information or entertainment. So mostly in the end this video isn't talking crap about individual channels but getting you to maybe think about scrutinizing the channels that you watch more for their logic and for how much you could actually rely on them to provide you with good information and trustworthy support and good communication in a stressful situation. Because I really just couldn't trust a lot of the bigger channels to hold a decent debate about what should be done about an emergency situation and listen to anybody but themselves or be able to debate a difference logically and civilly through to the end without so many misunderstandings that somebody has to do the SHTF equivalent of turning off notifications to the comment thread. So, sorry for the rambling, uh, already done a couple videos here just now, but I hope that those were some decent thoughts. You can be sure that I will be talking crap about bigger prepper channels again. 
Anyways, hope you're all well. Everybody stay safe out there.